Hello there, you must be wondering why I am on the stairs today. Anyway, I am making this video because everyone has their awkward moments to varying degrees and I am no exception. So here's a classic example of me failing at life. So I studied abroad once in Japan and as a learner of a new language, you're bound to make a few mistakes. I stayed with a host family. My Japanese host family barely spoke any English and at that time I barely spoke any Japanese, so that was fun. So needless to say, we were destined to have a few miscommunications. So one night I was preparing for bed and it was my intention to ask my host mom to wake me up in the morning in case my alarm clock didn't dog shut the hell up dog shut up mahini man stop grunt stop mahini i'm trying to film something jesus mahini really come here mahini man lord god come here that's mahini she's going outside now Put you outside. As I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by a Pekingese. So, in asking her to wake me up, the word I had meant to use was okosu, which means wake up. But, instead I used a similar sounding word with a very different meaning, okasu. So, I ended up saying, ashita no asa ni okasarete kudasai. She had this look on her face. It was priceless. I thought maybe that it was like a look of pleasant surprise. Like, wow, good job. Your Japanese is getting so good. Like, I thought it was a happy face. I thought it was, no, it was not a happy face. Okay, so after that split second expression of sheer terror, she relaxed and laughed a bit. Like, bye, you know, Good night, you little dumb sh so after all that, it was not until the next evening when she explained to me, with the help of a translator and a dictionary, that the previous night I had unwittingly asked her to please violate me in the morning. I was so embarrassed. And I would not have been so embarrassed if it weren't for the fact that I had used it multiple times before. Like in front of school teachers, kids at school. And I was just blissfully unaware of my language transgressions each time. And Japanese people are generally very polite, so no one bothered to hurt my feelings and correct me. But it would have been very helpful. <laughs> Needless to say, I am very, very glad nobody took it literally. So my house mom, she comforted me and said, But you'll never forget this. I'll make sure of that. Another example of a time I really failed at Japanese was when I had confused the words chikubi and nikibi. Nikibi meaning pimple. Chikubi actually means nipple. I don't know why I made that gesture. <laughs> so I had actually at one point said that I have nipples all over my face. Anyway, that is the story. I have many, many more, but that is the one that stood out the most. I have a feeling that I am not the only one who's made this same mistake. Have a lovely day.